Welcome to my YouTube channel. This was my first video. And today we're going to be making this Attack on Titan leg box thing from season four, ODM gear, anti-personal gear, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, this is one of my old ones. So the one today will turn out better. All right, for materials, we want a roll of six millimeter EVA foam. Then we also have four millimeter and three millimeter. These can be bought at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. To connect them, you'll want contact cement. This brand is good, or you can get barge, either or. Then you'll want wood glue. This is really the only brand of wood glue I like. And you'll want super glue. All of these will, um, can be bought at Walmart. You'll want some strong magnets. Uh, I got these at Home Depot. And then tools you'll want is a pair of scissors, marker and pencil for marking. You want an X-Acto knife and maybe a ruler. And then if you make a lot of mistakes like I do, you'll want to use a Dremel afterwards. One last material is this plastic sheet. You can get it at Michael's or Walmart. Alright, but the most important material of them all is probably pattern, which I sell these on Etsy. Um, just a downloadable file, you can print this at home, or if you're like me and don't have a printer, I went to Office Max. And yes, the poster size is 20 by 30, and it was $1.90 for the whole pattern. I know, wow. All right. Now we'll use our scissors, and you're just gonna wanna go through and cut all of these light gray, light gray shapes out. All right, so now that you have all of your pieces cut out, just take P and just set it aside for now. You might not need it. It's okay. You're gonna wanna go through and trace all of these out onto your foam. This is the six millimeter foam. For six millimeter foam, you'll want to make two boxes, two A's, four B's, two C's. Oh man, I'm trying to go in letter order. Four D's, eight E's, four F's, four G's, eight H's, eight I's. All right, for four millimeter foam, you'll want to cut out two J's, two K's, four N's, four O's, and 12 Q's. All right, for a three millimeter craft foam, you'll only need two L's and two M's. All right, so you're gonna cut two A's and six C's out of this plastic sheet. And C is three by 18. So I'm just gonna show you how I cut it in case you haven't thought of it. You might know this already and you just skip like a minute. So I got this nifty ruler from Joann's. All right, so three and 18. And then you take your exacto knife. You're gonna press really hard on that ruler. And then you're pressing the knife against the ruler and pressing down. And then, yeah, sometimes I don't completely make it all the way through on the first try because I'm weak, but just come back through. Recut that same line. Since it's already halfway through, it'll just follow that line anyways. And there you go. All 
Alright, now I take four of them and we're gonna create a box. So you're gonna put it together like so and then you're gonna hot glue all the way down that line. Which is gonna be very hard to film. Alright, now that you have two together, you're going to put A, and you want to make sure that they connect so the front has the extra width. Alright, now we have this. And this last one's hard to glue on because we can't see inside to glue it on. So I just stand it up and I just glue the sides. Alright, so now it's all glued in here. But this piece still could use more glue. So I just put my hand in here and spread the sides out a bit. So then I can add glue. You kind of just hope you don't hit yourself because this place is really hot. Oh my god, how I hit myself. Okay, and then you can press it so none of it actually dips down. It's now all even. And just hold it until the glue cools off. And it'll be beautiful. Alright, now these sides should be thicker because they have this extra width and this A and C side should be thinner. So then you take your foam for A and it matches up pretty nicely. You're going to take your lady contact cement. And I uh, hope you like painting. You're just gonna literally paint an entire layer. Oh yeah, fun stuff. Fun, fun, fun. This is why I cosplay. Alright, that's all nicely covered. Now you're gonna have to also paint it onto your foam. Okay, and now we're just going to give it like a couple minutes till it gets tacky. Alright, now that things are tacky, well, it's not even tacky, well, hopefully I didn't wait too long. You're going to take your two pieces very carefully. <laughs> it looks so hard to show. You want to line up the edge. This one's edge. Okay, they're lined up. And then you're just gonna press it all the way down. Sorry, I'm in the way of the camera. I just turned it down because I got it. Wait, wait, wait. All right, and then I'm gonna do that with the other. If you're gluing on the foam pieces and there's extra length, you can always just trim all that down. Also, when you're trimming, make sure to wear a dust mask and safety glasses. Don't follow my example. Alright, so now we have the boxes done, so we're going to take these, <laughs> take these, and we're just going to glue them on the top and the bottom. Alright, now we have these glued on, but I trace and cut poorly, so there's a bit extra. So all we're going to do with that is take our scissors, cut off the extra, and then dremel it smooth. 
All right, now that we've dremeled that out, this is super important. So you have two boxes. You do need to label what the front is because side A is what attaches to your belts. So you want them to look at each other. All right, so on the front side of the box, I just marked where the H's are going to be glued down. The little shaded in areas are where they're not going to be glued down. And um, yeah, so they're about a half an inch apart, just depending on how well I glue. Okay, so just a little side note, when gluing H down, these little guys are at the top. So when you glue this down, you want to make sure it matches with the top really nicely because there will be extra at the bottom let me stick out a little bit and that's because I is gonna tuck in under it so they'll be hidden all right so now we have our eyes on but they aren't exactly smooth like they don't match up 100% perfectly so we are just gonna trim all those out all right, so now we're gonna take pattern piece A and just mark out where those dashed lines are. All right, with those lines marked, this is where the E. Oh boy. Two E's are gonna go. And one G. All right, now we have these on. Just wanna make sure this little front part matches up smoothly. And then we're just going to do the exact same thing to side C. All right, now we have them on both sides. So we're going to take our piece F and F is going to sit right in between E's. All right, now we're moving on to J's. And yeah, I just like to try to roll them a little bit, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. And if you remember back in elementary school, we're going to fold these hot dog style <laughs> with our contacts in it. Ow. Okay, so we got that. And we just want to glue right on the edge. All right, now we have glue on those edges and it's tacky. This part is kind of difficult. You just gotta go for it. Now we have our two tubes, we're going to take K's, and just glue it. Alright, now we're going to take N and O, and we're going to glue those together. Just like, swoop. And the other ones, whoop. And like, once again, we're going to just glue the edges very carefully. trim them a tiny bit. Now you're gonna glue the edge here and the edge here together. Good luck. This part's hard. Okay, so now it's on. And honestly, this one came out way better than I expected. I am super surprised. But it does have these like little edges, kind of weird. So we're gonna go dremel it. And then we can also dremel this because there's extra. And we're gonna dremel this so it's smooth. And that came out way better than expected. All right, here we go, all dremeled out. Okay, decent, all right, whatever, good shit. 
All right, now we're down to the last pieces, which are M and L. For these little ones, we're gonna go this way. It's gonna be very difficult because we wanna get these little edges to glue together. So we'll make a little circle. And for these guys, we're gonna go this way. And you're also gonna want the little edges to glue together. And they all make a little circle. Good luck. All right, now we have these little pieces. And this is where the super glue is finally gonna come in. Because we're gonna super glue it into here. Cute. And then, ooh, into here. What? Ooh. And then, it was almost like, wow, ooh, ooh, gas thing or whatever. Just a side note, I do try to get all the seams to match up. Looks kind of nicer, I think, maybe. Mm. Now glue on these little circles. Mm, little. Now we're going to take all of the cues. And there's quite a bit. And we're going to pair them. Then we're going to glue them together. So when we're done, we'll have six of them. Now we have the six of them glued together, but of course they don't line up perfectly. So I'd hope you know the drill by now. Go Dremel. All right, so I can't cut out circles smoothly. So I Dremel the circles directly in. All right, here we are. We have all these little pieces. We're gonna grab these things that we made. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, very nice. And oh boy, let's see if we can make it. I I gotta glue them like in here. All right, then we're gonna take pattern piece A and just mark right where these magnets would go. Hopefully you just cut through the foam and not the plastic and glue these magnets straight on in. Nice. Now we're finally gonna get to piece P. Cut it out of three millimeter foam, cover it with the fabric that matches your costume. And I've attached these buckles to the tops of the boxes and you can see the magnets are in there and then the magnets are covered by the belts that go on my legs for the harness system i'm so happy they actually stay on. Alright, my next video will be on how to prime and paint because I didn't want this video getting any longer. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you don't want to see any more, still go like and comment. And uh, yeah, anyway, see you next time. Happy crafting! Now I have to clean up. Boo.